Burger King. <laughs> We're so Stop. Hard. No, we don't. <laughs> What was my last video, which is the siblings thing, and I promised in that video that I'm going to deliver like what would I wear video, but it's not going to happen today. But I am going to look into it another time. I don't know, I just feel like that video, that what would I wear video, I owe it to you guys so much because that time a lot of you supported me, a lot of you commented, and I feel guilty about it. <laughs> But anyways, so we're going to do something a little bit different this time. You could guess from the title. Yes, I am a fan of that show, Penthouse K-Drama. Yes, watched all of the three seasons, hoping for no fourth season as well. Yes, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm literally fangirling right now because I have been in love with that show. It's actually one of the reasons why I didn't see it for months because all I did was nagpuyat lang ako the whole time to freaking watch season 1 and 2 and no season 3, I was like, okay, okay. Yes, okay, wait. I need to calm down. Wait. <laughs> to myself and a tribute to the show I wanted to do a penthouse lookbook but for today is that I decided to do the Hera kids only you know if I'm going to do the whole cast then I need a bunch of clothing and our channel is still not on that budget I still gotta work on what I have and also since it's a K-drama I really don't have like Korean pieces like your Korean style I really don't have that much clothing clothing that much clothing of like Korean clothing but you know this is happening people okay <laughs> I think we need a break. <laughs> we need a little break. Okay, cut it up a little. <laughs> okay, excuse me. Okay, good. It's really good when I'm a fan girl. I'm girl. I'm girl. I'm girl. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. Okay, so as you can see, I'm wearing pajamas right now because I got a little lazy because. Again, we're going to do a little dressed up thing, you know, if you're new to my channel, this is what we do, but if you're, like, if you're a fellow, uh-huh, what's that? If you subscribe to the channel, go, welcome back, welcome back, and you're welcome in advance. Okay, when it comes to the styling of the outfit, I decided to... Um, incorporate my own style because again some more clothing na meron ako right now I'm going to incorporate what I think the Hera kids styles are based on my observation and based on the pictures I've seen <laughs> that's pretty much it and of course incorporating it with my own personal style because you know I don't like making outfits na alam ko namang hindi ko susuotin sa labas I don't want to give like um, like fashion inspo to you guys and I'm not inspired by that outfit as well if you know what I mean so yeah without further ado let's get started I think that's pretty much it <laughs> raise your hand if you always wanted to strangle Sokyo raise your hand if you're still in love with her outfits even though she's a completely mean girl raise your hand if you fell in love with her not her character but herself alone okay okay welcome welcome to the fan club okay so first up is of course our very mean girl yet fashionable which is Sokyo now when it comes to the styling of Sokyo or like kung paano siya sa show to show her personality she's a mean girl 
there's no doubt about it but she's the type of mean girl na hindi yung parang nasa how western people um make an image of it you know like you all pink na mean girl you if you know the movie yung pagka mean girl ni Sukyung is like a very fierce one yung talagang and napansin ko sa wardrobe niya, there's always an incorporation of like color and black, which is really good if you're really looking for that minimal yet edgy look. Having all black and then having this one piece of a statement. Yung katulad na tong blouse, it's a statement piece kasi ang loud ng pattern niya. So when I wear all black with it, with my black corduroy pants, with my black boots, and my black accessories, bag, silver, and everything like that, it stands out. Yung nagsa stand out yung statement piece. Yung una ko na isip si Sok yung is na us na isip ko agad etong top na to because it, 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 it I don't know I don't know it's just it's really cute with the detailing and everything and it looks expensive like it's a funky top but it looks expensive. At first, na isipan kong itak in na lang in um itak in ng whole yung outfit. Pero when I looked at the outfit, sabi ko sayang naman yung whole design ng top and everything. And then like yung off shoulder ko siya, which is like really cute. But when I looked at it, sabi ko I don't think like um Sukyung would wear something like this. And come on. I think it's much more luxurious tignan if makikita like yung like slits dito sa ano dito sa top which is like really nice makikita mo talaga yung kagandahan ng top and I decided to like button the cuffs as well and to let out the um the, the mesh top yeah I'm wearing a mesh top a underneath to add a little like fancy element to it I don't know if it's fancy to you guys but this reminds me of like lace gloves I don't know. I don't know. Okay, just style stuff. But yeah, and it also has these like a little, a little poof. My medium poof yung sleeve. I'm wearing like corduroy pants, but it has stripes on it. It's straight cut as well, and the boots leather. Of course, that's our so cute. I guess she won't wear this type of hat, you know, because it would mess up her hair, her bangs. <laughs> but I can see her wear this hat, and probably. Kapag si Suk yung to, she would probably wear ano yung shoulder bag. Kasi yun yung napapansin ko, um, shoulder bag palagi yung sinusuot niya sa show. Or yung palaging stinas... <coughs> Palaging stina style sa character niya. I love the boots. Honestly, I want to show it to you guys. <laughs> Kasi, I wanted to make a haul for the boots. Pero, ano, um, hindi ko na siya nagawa. So, these are my babies. These are my babies. Yeah, these boots match everything. It matches my whole world, my whole wardrobe, honestly. And it has a heel, my like hidden heel shadito, which is really good, a bonus. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, the run through of this outfit. I really love it. I would wear it to be honest. And can I just say that Sukyung, uh, for me, uh, has the most um, realistic character development story. It did took like two seasons for her to realize that she did wrong things, you know, pero in reality, ganun naman talaga, mahirap i-unlearn yung mga bagay na, na naturo sa atin, na parents natin, especially if your parent is judante, mm -hmm. mahirap talaga i-unlearn. So her, um, the pacing of her story, the pacing of her character development, for me, ah, is actually pretty realistic. You know how movies, series, like directors and stylists, like, um, show the character change and the character development through clothing. So, yeah, I think yun yung sinusubukan nilang ipakita dun sa last episode no penthouse, yung, na, ma, yung parang may makita talaga yung change sa kanya. So, yeah, kaya siguro medyo nag-transition siya from, like, this fierce-looking leather um, girl to this, like, very um, simple na ganon. Kasi nga, medyo hindi na sila ganon kayaman nun, and she's earning her own money na, which is, I respect that. Pero, yun lang, that's my comment. And, yes, I still love her. <laughs> Even though, inang beses ko siya gustong sakalin, you know, kung inang beses ko siya gustong, like, sampalin, like, jump out, like, gusto ko talaga pupunta sa Korea and tell her na, girl, you better grow up. Okay, but you know, she did grow up, so whatever. <laughs> so, okay, I gotta stop talking about her. I gotta stop talking about her. Okay, now next is, of course, but that was so cute. Is she so cool? Hey, hey, college student. 
when it comes to Sokhon's style, um, ang napansin ko talaga siya sa kanya, although he's this very, like, mysterious bad boy kind of thing, he's very, like, warm-hearted, very kind. Makikita naman natin ang kanyang character development yung na-fall in love siya kay Bera na. <laughs> I know, I think people are going to say this, like, Chara, where's the leather jacket? We don't have a leather jacket, okay? But I do love seeing Sukhun wearing cardigans. So when yung naisip ko, yung paano ko ba isa style si Sukhun naisip ko, I think cardigans would be good kasi ang napansin ko, halos lahat ng cardigans niya throughout the show is like bright and colorful. And yun nga yung meron, ako ngayon, yun yung meron sa wardrobe ko, is this mustard, like, university vibe cardigan. And it's really cute. Meron rin siya ano dito. Maliit na patch. I love yung sleeves nito. How, yun nga, like, as you can see, my puff siya dito. And it's really nice. So cute. And, eh, I just really see Silkman wearing something like this. Yung mga cardigan type style. And I really love this pants. Itong pants na to has, ang tawag dito? has a mixture of like mahogany na violet and swampy green and we have the mustard type of stuff if you know yeah if, as you can see straight cut sha and i decided to pair it with my platform shoes i can't see much of like a fashion change when it comes to him but when it comes to casual you know very typical na korean but i'm trying to like get out of that typical korean style and into something more colorful more vibrant and a little bit more edgy i added the fanny pack you know because nga may motor siya <laughs> may motor si sukhon kaya i decided to add a fanny pack to it because nga syempre pag mong motor ka for convenience rin di ba oh my gosh <laughs> I really like this. I really like this outfit. I would wear this eh, ano, for the bag my face to face classes na kami. Nagmumukha talaga siyang nagmumukha siyang uniform if ever talaga if I'm going to make my own school or kapag ito yung ano <laughs> ito yung uniform ng Chong A Arts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there even though it's not existed. <clears throat> Okay, before I explain myself, I'm going to have a quick run through para sa outfit ni Bayrona. Okay, so as you can see, I am wearing this pink blazer, very bright pink. It's actually brighter than real life, but I think kapag bakit niyo sa camera, depende na rin kung paano ko edit yung saturation. Is that's a bit light, and then we have this very vibrant green as well to add a little length kasi nga since these are all like pantas lang siya although mahaba pero just to add a little length i decided to add a pencil skirt a <laughs> a black pencil skirt sa ilalim niya you know just to add a, a little length and para din if ever na kapag may magbebend ako like hindi makikita yung buong kaluluwa ko and also for the shoes Ito, ito sana yung i-include ko sa haul ko na yung nagwagwag kami sa Trinidad. It's actually the same day kung saan nabili ko yung shoes, yung leather, yung ginamit ko sa outfit ni Sokyong. It's just really cool buckled shoes. It's platforms as well. And suede yung kanyang material. I don't know, I just really love it. It reminds me so much of Harajuku fashion. Circle. 360. No Commercial. To charify the entire outfit, I decided to wear these. What do you call this? This harness. Yes. Go, go. Our dog has issues. Okay, so. <laughs> And that is siguro mo sa akin na oh my gosh that's not a bear on a love charabel girl I know <laughs> I know it's not pero kasi ang napansin ko um I don't I don't really have that full grasp when it comes to her style kasi nga ano no season one palagi sila naka uniform and although I've seen yung outfit niya yung naging yung rebellious side niya yung andami ng problema you know teenagers yeah yung nakita ko yung rebellious side niya na yon yun sana yung kung ko inspiration but again I don't have what she has 
and again I'm working on what I have so yeah I decided to go with this more on sa season 3 kasi nga since naging adults na sila noon napansin ko um, she wore more mature clothes than before um, and napansin ko rin yung season 1 yung kinarner siya nung mga hera kids she wore pink which I really like kasi bagay niya ang ano yung pink talaga so I decided to go with the pink blazer and yun nga kasi dun sa season 3 um napansin ko she wore blazers as well and basta yung outfit niya it became more mature para makita yung nag-grow siya and has that like mature side na she's an adult na ganon to show that she's an adult so I decided to go with this um very ano siya basta suit inspired siya kaya we have this like may pa collar rin ganon and everything pa blouse pero syempre to edge it up a bit you know me I added I decided to add some black accessories which is the black bag the shoes and of course course the harness but of course this look can also work na walang harness I think mas makikita mo yung point ko kapag tinanggal ko yung harness but I don't know I really love the harness thing you know I can just medyo poofy nagi, mas nagiging poofy yung baba niya eh, dahil doon so yeah so again this is a Bayerona look for me or what I think she would wear and how I would style it if it's inspired again with my personal style and can i just say when it comes to Bayrona's um character development she became like at first she's this she's this bratty girl now she wants what other people have but like ever since her mother died she um improved ka na okay what i have is like enough something like that and then she became the strong character as well na ano although she's a very strong character ever since season one pa naman pinaglalaban niya kung ano talaga yung tama pero you know ang nainis lang ako yung attitude niya before towards her mom na kung saan she's very bratty which is like so us that sometimes we become so bratty kapag hindi natin nakuha yung gusto natin and like our parents like do everything in their power even Oyun he had to kill someone for her daughter to be happy and I'm like whoa there's a Bayrona in every single one of us from this bratty chick to this mature fierce girl that she had she had no choice but to be strong and to this successful woman in the ending that we all know now. We all have that bear on a type of thing in ourselves. You know what I mean? Remember when I said that I'm going to incorporate my personal style with their personal style? Well, this is what I meant by it. <laughs> Clearly, you don't see you, Jenny, anywhere here. But, you know, when it comes to her personality, um, although she was like, um, diba nga si Sukyung, she's this mean girl, pero dark yung color palette niya. Pero when it comes to Eugenie, she is, was one of these mean girls, pero she's that really girly type. She's like much more girly than Yun Byul, yung napansin ko. And she likes fancy things, so yeah, I don't know. So, <sighs> a quick run through with this outfit. I love the color combination of the purple green and pink my very favorite pink flare pants i always wear it we have this green top lightweight china green top and your patterns nya mukha siyang granny right but it's still cute it's patterns is actually guitars akala ko money yung una kaya ko siya binili kasi nga make money but <laughs> apparently it's not purple turtleneck and yeah the color combination is really cute oh and we have this leopard See you, Jenny, because I was thinking about it always when she turned into an adult. She always wears heels. I feel like she's like the smallest of them all. It's more fun to see you, Jenny, in all of them. So she always wore heels. And I noticed that she likes, yun nga, she likes sparkly things. Ganon, but I don't have white heels. I just wanted to wear it in the outfit with the white croc baguette bag. I just wanted to wear it with white croc baguette bag. Heels, again. I don't have anything. I don't have anything girly. This is the most girly I can get. So yeah. Oh, but at least I have these. A very you Jenny accessory. Um, essential. That's pretty much it. You Jenny. 
I love her character development because makikita mo sa kanya that every single person already has the good in them. The fact na, na mas gusto niya makulong yung dad niya. Para sa kanya, she rather choose something na is just and right than she knows na matatanggal konti yung sarili niyang happiness doon pero in the end, everything will work out. Oh, when she had that suicidal moment doon sa season 2 and then naging best friend sila uh, ni Bayrona in the end, I was like, whoa, that's us people. Para sa akin na, yung nakikita ko lang na healthy yung marriage is yung kay, ano, is yung parents ni Jenny. The reason siguro kaya ganun siya kasi healthy yung environment na kung saan siya pinalaki. I mean, yeah, medyo may mga mali na ginawa yung si, um, yung mom niya. But even though, I, there's a reason kung bakit sila yung napunta dun sa penthouse. Okay, so next Hera kid would be Minya, which is the most chill of the bunch. Yung siya lang talaga yung go with the flow with everything. Kapag naging, pag masungit sila or naging bully sila, magiging masungit at bully rin siya. Kapag mabait naman sila, katulad the time na mas kumampi siya, kina Bayrona at kay Jenny. He's always a tattletale when it comes to Jenny. Napasin niyo yun? I wanted to do something na more of a case style kasi yung style niya doon sa show really is okay, fashion, yung uh, minimal, very like turtleneck-ish, mga ganun na vibes. Ayan. So, but I decided to go with this, you know, just to go with the whole theme na puro color and stuff. And so we have this oversized, oversized polo blouse, which is in this very soft material. Over it, we have this um, aquamarine, um, whatever you want to call it, aquamarine na sweater, na pullover, I mean. And I just decided to uh, leave it like this to make it more high fashion, to make it more interesting, ganon. And I decided to use this white shorts because I kind of like guys in white shorts and I can imagine him rocking white shorts. Um, I'm not sure if you're very familiar with the brand Stocato, pero my dito always been raving about their boots. So that's how I found out about Stocato. And I really like, um, para siya yung Balenciaga socks shoe sock vibes, yun yung ano niya, yun yung vibe niya, pero it's much more prettier, much more interesting, kasi it has this ring, this intricate, um, yung mga lace niya, ganon. <coughs> it's like if Minyo was going to a country club, and he's going to wear this for golf. That's the vibe we're looking for, or we're going for, and I don't have a bag, I don't know, um, I don't have a bag for this outfit, but I think having no bag for this outfit since maglalakad ka lang naman sa country club, ganon, um, you don't really need a bag for it. So it's really cute and I love it. Parang preppy kind of look. Um, the white shorts can be like an alternative for tennis skirts because I really don't wear skirts. And for the last hair kid, oh my gosh, I am telling you, this is the most outfit I have done. Since I've just recently just since ngayon na ako gumawa ng video and I'm so exhausted. But anyway, here is Yunbyul's outfit. So I decided to go with this because wala na ako ibang damit na maisip para sa kanya. But other than that, um, ang napansin ko lang sa lada sa kanya, Yunbyul is a very sweet kid. Her parents were just messed up, so she became messed up and all of this stuff, you know. But you know, she's still a sweet person. This is Yunbyul because yun napansin ko puro siya dresses or ako lang yon. <laughs> yun ay napansin ko. It's a dress which is very flowy ganon and. I decided to edge it up by wearing boots and a harness. I got this idea from Katie of Steal the Spotlight. If ever I'm going to style Yun Bill Dalaga, I would probably use um I would probably have like ruffles. Yung top na maraming ruffles, maraming arte, at saka siguro skirt na sa, siguro checkered or something like that. It's all in my head, but like imagine with me. Yung ganon, but you know, this is like an alternative. Kasi dun, dun yun nung sa last, um, she wore a lot of dresses as well. Kaya I also thought of this dress when I thought of her. 
so yeah this is my Yunbyul look and of course the last of the hair kids I keep talking about <laughs> their personalities and how their character developed and pagdating kay Yunbyul wala akong masabi <laughs> cuz again she was a messed up kid apalagi siya nagseselos but what she did she just decided to live a different life tiniis na lahat ng mga ginawa ng parents niya para sa kanya kahit mali man yon but in the end napuno na siya and then she exploded but the ending is kind of sad she can't sing anymore or she can't sing as well anymore but at least she teaches like her mom pero ang hirap ng role niya ang dami niyang iyak moments ang dami niyang kabaliwan moments ang daming moments so, you know ang daming nangyayari sa kanya Let's just have a moment to talk about the penthouse ending. I kind of get the idea kung bakit hinayaan nilang mamatay silang lahat or yung mga iba. Kasi nga, come on, what do you expect? It's penthouse. Sa daming frustrating things na nangyari, sa daming plot twists na nangyari, of course you would expect na ganun siya ma, na ganun yung ending niya, which is a little bit twisted, a little bit ano, um, annoying, nakakainis, but at the same time, it makes sense, at least for me. Yeah, like my cousin said on her story, it was very penthouse, and it was. Nagigets ko yung point of view ni, ano, ni Soryon. It's hard to live with a lot of burden in you and a lot of regrets na ang daming namatay because she blames herself kahit hindi naman dapat. You know, everything is judate to be honest. But anyway, she blames herself and so she decided to um, get what she deserves, I guess. Because a, a lot of lives were caused for her revenge and that's what she felt. So it's hard for her to live on. So yeah, and yeah, I guess the... The Hera kids, sila yung maglilive ng legacy nilang lahat. Kapag may season 4 pa, at lahat sila nag-resurrect, I, I am going to stop watching K-drama. That's just it. Kasi it took 3 seasons for everyone to like get everything together, you know? And it's just so messed up. So kapag may penthouse 4 and everyone freaking resurrected, uh, oh my gosh! take everything you know it's up to them but knowing k-drama knowing how they work I don't think they're always they're going to revive it I think they're just going to leave it at that but anyways I guess this is my closure for the whole season <laughs> for the whole three seasons so yeah again um <coughs> comment down your favorite Hera kid and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for just being subscribed. Kahit hindi ako na post ng ilang months and hindi consistent yung posting ko, I'm still trying to be the better version. Okay, the ca the <laughs> the, ca the memory card got full load, so we had to like remove some of the files. So again, what I was saying, yeah, I just want to say thank you for everyone who just um who still are subscribed to my channel, the 147 people that are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, and for the people who are watching this right now, I'm still doing my best, trying to have better days. And you know, I'm still not okay personally and spiritually, but you know, I'm really getting there like I can feel it You know, <laughs> I'm getting this energy. I'm getting all hyped for this and the film. I missed it So I decided to do this to have a little comeback and although my gigging is consistent to schedule school because I'm that disorganized um, Yeah, I'm just I just wanted to say that I'm doing my best so again um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. What everything? What? <laughs> thank, um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, little brown girl out. I mean, <laughs> subscribe to be terrified, and I'll see you next time. And if you haven't watched Penthouse yet, you better watch. You better watch it right now. Yeah, watch it right now. Oh, and also, nakita mo yung dress ni Ano, Sir Yun, dun sa pinakalas. I would buy that dress. I would literally save money for that dress. And I know it's going to be expensive kasi yun naman yung mga ginagamit nila sa mga... Yun naman yung mga ginagamit nila sa mga K-drama, yung may mga brands. 
But you know what? That dress, that dress, oh my gosh, that dress is just, I love that dress. 